Bill Bell, the city manager, and I'm really excited to be here with Lisa Kozmarski today. She's our City of Montrose Director of Tourism and Communications. We're going to talk a little bit about the holiday events coming up, right? Yes. All right, I'll turn it over to you. What do we have going on this holidays? <laughs> we've got a lot going on, actually. Montrose is going to be busy. Uh, we've got a tree lighting coming up on November 25th to kick things off. That'll be at 530 right at the courthouse steps. Uh, much like years past, it's going to have a lot of uh, fun things to see and do. And of course, Santa will be there to light the tree at the end. But hot chocolate will be there. We'll have some heaters to keep everybody warm. Lots of caroling and, of course, jingle bells to make it very cheery and festive. Um, we have letters to Santa starting that same day. And the Santa's cabin will be opening right after the tree lighting. Santa will be um, taking his famous carriage ride from the courthouse over to the cabin and uh, welcoming all the kids to see him and uh, drop off their letters starting that evening. Uh, that runs until December 19th, so kids can make sure that they get their letter to Santa at that time. Uh, Small Business Saturday will be on the 26th, which is Friday, right after uh, Thanksgiving. And that's when we celebrate all of our downtown businesses and small businesses throughout the community so that we can promote local shopping. Uh, and of course, a big part of that is Montrose Bucks. And uh, we will have Montrose Bucks again this year and uh, look forward to making sure that more dollars can stay within the community for all that gift giving. After that, the week, next weekend, we have on December 3rd, the Parade of Lights. And uh, Parade will be a big event like it always is. And we are very excited this year. Our theme is Jingle All the Way. Nice. It's always one of our most popular events. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even if it's 20 degrees, people come out for that one. Exactly. That's really I heard fun. there's a new location of Santa's Cabin this year. Yes. Santa's Cabin is going to be relocated to Demerette Park for a switching up of uh, location and just uh, making sure that we have a little more exposure downtown. Uh, I think it'll be easier for everybody as they shop. If they want to stop and take a break at Santa's Cabin, they'll be able to bring their kiddos and have lots of fun there. Nice. Mm -hmm. What about people that don't know what Montrose Bucks are? A really exciting program that we offer. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, Montrose Bucks is a program that is funded through the city to uh, kind of give back uh, some of the tax dollars that we've earned throughout the year. Uh, if you purchase 50 Montrose Bucks, you actually get 60 on a gift card. So, and we can uh, do that per household up to a $400 limit, which actually makes that 480 so nice mm -hmm. and they just come over to the new visitor center location for that yes the visitor center will be moving uh, we haven't announced exactly where yet but that'll be coming and uh, once we do that this coming week uh, everybody will know that they can come to get Montrose bucks on the 26th of november and uh, we'll be ready and uh, make sure that we can get everybody situated so they can spend their dollars locally. Nice. Mm -hmm. In the past, we've moved our visitor center down to Main Street area just to be closer to the shoppers and be more convenient. This year, it's kind of a double whammy for us, right? We're getting yes. kicked out of our Elk Civic building while we do some remodel. Yes, exactly. To accommodate the remodel work and make sure that we're not in the way of the contractors, uh, it just lined up perfectly where we were able to um, find a spot downtown. We're just finalizing those agreements and then we'll have our pop-up shop for the holidays on Main Street. Nice. Mm -hmm. well, you guys are staying really busy. I know you and Katie are uh, working really hard uh, with William Woody as well. We have kind of a small team over at the Office of Tourism and Communications right now, but we're hoping to hire some great people to fill the openings that we have. Yes, yep. It's been a small but very mighty team and I'm very thankful for everybody. Uh, we are um, excited for the holiday season. Katie's been working extra hard to make sure the events are all coming together with all the details and working with the community partners and making sure that uh, everything's ready to go. Nice. Mm -hmm. One exciting thing I want to talk to people a little bit about and let them know is, is our uh, program with the U City Council actually turned into a, an employee over at the Visitor Center. Maybe tell us just a little bit about Gunnison. Ah, Gunnison is a great addition to our staff. He uh, has been helping out. He's part-time and in the Visitor Center, knows so much about the community and uh, is a great uh, resource as far as events and where to go to do things. 
Um, he's uh, been very uh, accommodating and loves meeting and talking to people, so we're enjoying having him on board. Nice. And he was mayor of our youth city council last year, right? Yes. And then graduated high school. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. So young, but a great addition. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to be a good holiday season. Yes, we're very excited and uh, hope that now with the colder weather coming, it's more festive and gets everybody starting to think in the mood of all the holidays that are coming up. Excellent. Well, thanks for everything you do. Thank you.